Hi beautiful people, welcome back if you have watched my previous video. In that video, I've made a lining for a bikini top and for today, we are going to make a lining for this bikini bottom. This bikini bottom is made by my sister, of course. I'm just going to do the lining. I do not know how to crochet. I have tried but only chains because I have palmar hyperhidrosis and the thread becomes soaked up with sweat, that's why. For crocheted items, definitely there are holes in it, hence we do the lining. Determine which way the fabric has more stretch on it and then just lay the bikini bottom on top of the lining so the right side of the lining and the right side of the bikini bottom should be facing each other and then we have to pin it So after pinning it together, we're just going to trace the bikini bottom all around using a tailor's chalk or anything that could mark on the fabric. And just a suggestion guys, it would be better to trace this part beyond the edge so that there will be more fabric to work on with. And as to this part, just trace it along the sides. So after cutting the lining, just lay it on top of the bikini bottom, wrong sides facing together and then we're going to pin it. We are going to start here at the center and then working our way all around. part for me to pin is the corner because the fabric is slippery and I have to make sure that there are no fabrics sticking out and the lining should be smooth so while doing this you have to be very patient so that the outcome will be more polished And this is how it looks like after pinning it and now we are ready to sew it. Before sewing, we have to make sure that the thread on the bobbin case is the same color as the bikini bottom. So we are going to change it into this rust colored thread to match our bikini bottom and lock on the other to match the lining. While sewing, just take your time, go slow make sure that you are sewing on the dense part of the bikini bottom so that there will be more part where the thread will cling onto. So basically, pinning the lining onto the right place is very important. So this is the finished product guys. I hope you learned something from this tutorial and if you haven't watched my previous video, go ahead and watch it and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!